Dear Mr. Chairman, dear Carlo, dear Chief Executive Officer, dear Marco, dear Minister, dear Carlo, distinguished guests. Thank you for inviting me to join you in celebrating SNAM's 75th anniversary, for which I would like to warmly congratulate you. Unfortunately, I was not able to join you in Milan today in Italy's largest science and technology museum, the prestigious Museo Nazionale della Scienza e della Tecnologia, Leonardo da Vinci. The fact that you have come together in this great uh, venue today to inaugurate an exhibition on gas evidently shows that in its 75 years of uh, existence of the Societa Nazionale, uh, Metanodotti has developed from a pioneer in uh, the 1940s to a leader in the European gas market of the 21st century. SNAM's achievement in the field of natural gas infrastructure are significant not only from an Italian but also from a European perspective. To name just a few of them. Your involvement in the gas infrastructure, gas storage and LNG regasification have contributed to the development of the EU internal energy market. You play an important role in the building of the southern gas corridor, including its European stretch, the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline, which is critical for Europe's diversification of sources, suppliers and routes. And your work with NAFTA gas and EU stream aiming at modernizing Ukraine's uh, gas network goes in line with the European support for Ukraine and helping it uh, to improve its infrastructure. We very much appreciate your publications and research like the Global Gas Report, which has uh, contributed uh, uh, to the European debate about the future of our energy systems. With its 3,000 employees and its activities in the operation of gas infrastructure, gas storage and LNG regasification, SNAM has been and will continue to be an essential partner for completing the EU internal energy market. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to use uh, the opportunity to underline the important role that the European Commission sees uh, for gas on the way towards the sustainable, low-carbon and climate-friendly economy. As we all know, gas has a significantly lower uh, CO2 footprint uh, than the other fossil fuels. It is an important intermittent source to balance the growing and necessary share of renewables. And the new technologies uh, such as power to gas can make the renewable electricity storable in the existing gas infrastructure. It can therefore help the gas industry to go green. And I encourage you to pursue research and development in this field. To put it in a wider perspective, it was only yesterday that the Commission presented its second uh, mobility package. With it, we are aiming at reducing emissions uh, in the transport sector and making Europe's transport industry fit for the future. We will conclude this process next year when we will propose emission standards for heavy-duty vehicles. And in this context, I fully recognize the potential of natural gas when uh, it comes to decarbonizing our heavy-duty vehicle fleet as well as our maritime vessels. Let me conclude by stressing that the only way for the energy union to succeed is by engaging and including stakeholders from all realms of European society, with investors, with social partners, with academics, entrepreneurs, and with governments. That is why I welcome your strong involvement and encourage you to continue. I wish you a great day in Milan, an insightful exhibition on the future of gas, and a fruitful debate on how to take the Europe's energy system to the next level. Thank you very much.